Uh, this week, we heard of, uh, of this uh, agreement that's just been reached between Britain and Egypt relating to the Sudan. Mm -hmm. And some Americans feel that maybe this, this uh, means a reversal of that loss of prestige, and they regard this as a very hopeful thing. Now, first of all, can you tell our viewers just what the Sudan is? Well, yes, I welcome this chance, <coughs> because I think probably the world regards our association with the Sudan as just another kind of imperial adventure. It has been a British colony, has it? Or no, sort of British no colony? it's been a condominium, a government of one country by two, ever since 1899. But by natural processes, the fact remains that uh, Britain has taken a major share in the development Now, where of is Sudan. the Sudan? It's south of Egypt? The Sudan is an enormous <coughs> tract of country, about a million square miles. I don't know how that compares with anything in America. I don't know, I would like to know how, how it compares, with, for instance, with with Texas over well, it's even Texas. bigger than Texas. Uh, <laughs> well, what, what is the importance of Sudan to the British in particular? Why, why is it important to them? Um, first of all, there's uh, a perfectly normal material interest. Uh, the Sudan depends upon a cotton, a cotton economy. The cotton of the Sudan is its wealth. And that cotton, of course, is linked very co closely to our um, Lancashire cotton industry. Well, now, I understand after about three years that Sudan will be given an opportunity to uh, more or less declare its freedom from both uh, Egypt and Britain. Does that mean that you're going to lose a great share of that cotton? Or what is, you're going to lose anything there? Well, it very much depends. Um, I would answer that in these terms. After three years, as I see it, the Sudan is going to give them a choice. It's going to be able to say whether it wants to continue in complete independence, uh, or whether it wants some kind of association with Egypt, or, and this is not entirely clear, whether it wants to um, have an association with Great Britain. Well, why are you, were you pressured to get out of the Sudan with Egypt? Did you have to do it? What was the reason for getting out? Well, <coughs> I think we would possibly, uh, mind you, all the time I would emphasize this, that I'm uh, only <coughs> expressing entirely my own view. It, it would be not quite fair to say that what uh, I, uh, uh, the views I express are necessarily Her Majesty's government. I am expressing my own view. Now, we in Britain, as I see it, regarded the Sudan, although it is a condominium, as our most uh, successful and magnificent uh, experiment in colonialism. Uh, we started with a community, a community from scratch, a semi-nomadic people. And we have raised them now uh, to the level where they are able to choose well, uh, their the own destiny. The importance at the moment of the Sudan, sir, is this. Britain and Egypt have been disputing over it for many years. And now this week, apparently, some agreement has been reached between the two countries. The, import the big, big thing now is agreement. Now, do you think that that agreement will, will lead, perhaps, to an agreement on, on the Suez Canal area? 